Welcome to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This intraday report is trading on Friday, July the 15th, 2016. Just taking a quick look at what's going on here. Uh, this is a uh, quick chart of TVIX. As you can see, the last time it tried to positive pulse wave, it got knocked back down again. But the thing to note is that this time the market is a lot closer to the resistance trend line above. This leads to me to believe that the market wants to head back up to uh, the upper trend line resistance at 184, right below the $2 um, support of the Kumo cloud. Depending on how the stock market reacts, this could push prices deep into the cloud and get back above that $3 threshold, which is above the Kumo cloud, thus starting a new trend at three dollars which would be the new support for the TVIX three dollars that would help boost the TVIX to a trading range of the th of between three to seven dollars depending on the extent of the overall stock market correction so within the next couple of months I am calling for a support in TVIX of three dollars and a trading range of between three dollars and around seven dollars seven fifty somewhere around there it could go a lot higher depending on where the market heads so at this point it is not a bad idea to do a little bit of stacking in the TVIX picking up shares at this price if it falls down another fifty cents to about a buck pick up some more if it drops to fifty cents which I think the all-time low is forty cents then you probably want to buy as much as you can bear. Do not see this contract going out of business, being that there are tens of millions of people holding shares in this contract. So, with that said, you want to keep your eyes and ears open and prepare for a pretty strong stock market correction. One of the best ways to do that with the lowest probability right now is the TVIX, being that it is these historic low levels just something to think about likewise for the UVXY not a bad idea to take a look at that too being that it is trying to positive pulse wave here and head up to the eight dollar mark uh, the equivalent for the UVXY should be twelve dollar support with a trading range between twelve and sixteen dollars and it could go also a lot higher depending on the extent of the overall stock market correction as we head into the fall. All right, looking at the uh, S&P 500, as you can see, this market is post waving after hitting a high of 2168. The market has since pulled back from there. Uh, right now, the thing to watch would be if the market can stay here uh, supported. Your trend line support at the purple line is 2149 and a half and at the orange line you're at 2125 and a half. Strong support is at 2147 and a half. If it breaks that 2147, then momentum could pick up. Today is take back Friday, so we do expect to see a little profit taking here. And don't know if the market is quite ready for an overall correction, but that remains to be seen. We'll take a look at that at our end of day analysis. But for now, we're looking at intraday prices and the market overall pattern picture is still bullish and it's not overbought. It's actually bullish. All right, looking at the uh, NASDAQ uh, 100 futures, um, pretty much the same setup as the E-mini S&P. Mark remains bullish, uh, heading in, getting close to the oversold level. Uh, you want to make sure that that uh, 4567 support holds. If not, then you're headed down to the orange trend line here, and that's at the 4518 level. And like I said, the overall picture in the market is still bullish. All right, looks like the Nikkei is moving in sympathy with the U.S. stock market. It is post-waving positive as well, nearing the top of its trading range, and remains well supported at the 16430 level. So you're going to want to watch that. If that's taken out, there's a possibility that it could see further correction. But the overall picture here on this one is also pretty bullish. So. I don't see anything significant happening in this one as of yet. And being that it's Friday, the market should remain positive going into the close. 
looking at the US dollar the government continues to intervene to keep this market afloat uh, it is moving sideways overall trading within a range of about 95.84 to 96.57 so we'll say a full penny trading range right now uh, in the uh, in the US dollar full penny trading range uh, that is going to keep this thing strengthened and afloat uh, against the other uh, major currencies at this time this is where Bitcoin is getting its lift if you've noticed uh, in the last video I showed you the US dollar and Bitcoin are moving together as Bitcoin will more than likely uh, be the new one world currency before it's all said and done it will be a global electronic type of a system the system is already electronic now but it's not globally electronic like it's going to be with all the machines and computers and central banks and local banks connected to one mainframe one centralized location doing away with your credit cards and everything else and when I get the chance I will show you more evidence and proof already that's coming out even in the mainstream media backing up everything I showed you in the previous videos um, if you have not already done so you're gonna wanna go check out uh, there is no collapse and you will see exactly what I'm talking about also uh, you're gonna want to uh, keep your eyes and ears open because I'm gonna be showing you some pretty uh, amazing things starting right now looking at your new world order section now of the stock market every time there is a massive shooting every time there is some type of new world order Illuminati type activity on American soil you can expect to see the elite benefiting off of that situation here we're looking at the ticker symbol TSR which TSR which is taser and they are now announced that they're they've gotten some kind of contract to work for the police departments and supply them things so here you go they saved this market did they not how did they do it with all the shootings that started around here and ever since then bam we're breaking out now broke out above the Kumo cloud and it's still running now check this out. likewise at the sign of the first shooting you can see that uh, Smith and Wesson has gone up so the advent of the first the first series of shootings as you can see every time there is a shooting this stock market for the Smith and Wesson recovers from a correction here we have the uptrend quiet for a while shooting started again go up next big shooting and here we go from Dallas shooting down to the what was it, Miami wherever it was all the different shootings each time there's a shooting we tick up we break out alright so not only are these uh, false flags being manufactured by the powers that be to get, take your eyes off of the real situations that are happening right underneath your nose but they make money off of it as well and they get you to believe in the agendas that they want to set forth much more will be said on that in the days to come so look out for the new series that I will be doing I'm not going to name them yet because already I've noticed that people have been copying my material and putting out videos talking about what I've already uncovered and discussed such as the UN coming in to be the new global police force especially in the United States I covered that four years ago on the Wide Awake News radio show now everybody's talking about it as if it's some new development it's not a new development it's an old development they do everything incrementally and that's coming everything that you see on the news is related to the stock market and I will prove that just like I've just showed you in this video but there is a lot more to come and I will show it to you so remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered so take what you can and give nothing back 
And one more thing. As I leave you, here's a chart of the SLV. We'll cover more on the gold and the silver and the metals and things in the end of day video. But I just wanted to, to tell you something here. And I put up this SLV chart as, as I talk to you. Um, you're going to want to remember, because people have been asking me, like, okay, how do you how do you make money so that you can stack with your gold and your silver? Well, there are multiple ways to do that. One of the best ways to do that is through trading. If you do not have a lot of money from which to trade, that's why they have many forex accounts and micro forex accounts okay a micro forex account you can open uh, with as little as uh, 250 bucks just that simple 500 bucks a thousand bucks and you're not going to get rich overnight but you can grow that account you can follow the Vulcan report you can subscribe to the website the link is below you can follow me on my backup site on Daily Motion. The link is also below here. I use the Daily Motion because they allow me to upload videos there that YouTube will not allow to be uploaded. As a matter of fact, if you upload certain videos on YouTube, they will be banned. Not just banned off of YouTube, but banned off the web completely. So. I don't want to be banned off the web so I won't say too much except to tell you you're gonna wanna go over there and subscribe to me on Daily Motion and check out the last two videos that I uploaded there especially the uh, the newer one that I just did it's about an hour and 50 minutes long and it is information that you will find extremely helpful some of you have probably seen it before but I'm sure most of you have not, especially those of you who are overseas. You probably have never seen it. Very interesting information there, timeless information. And I think you're going to be enlightened by it. So without that said, remember, if you're not making money in these markets, you need to fire yourself and hire me. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the end of day report.